Hello everyone and welcome back to Coloring with Haley. Today I have my Sticky Club pack for July in the mail. It just came in and I went ahead and opened it, but I haven't actually pulled these stickers out, so we'll take a look at it. My pack's a little gross. I don't know what happened in the mail, but uh, the nice teal color of this is kind of, yeah, it's a little bent and scuffed up and gross, but I think the stickers inside are going to be fine. You might notice that this month I went with the pop pack. I liked the theme for the pop pack more than the cute pack this month. And you can just switch themes every month for free. So if you like one of the themes more than the other, you can easily just change it. And you can change it every month, they don't mind. So I went with the pop pack this month. And let's go ahead and pull it out. And as always, it comes in this little binder sleeve. Now they did send out an email uh, recently that they were doing some updates to Sticky. The price went up by $2, so it's now $13, including shipping, which is still a nice affordable price to me. I'm going to stick with them. Uh, but they said they were looking for a more eco-friendly way to send these stickers. A lot of people had complained, I suppose, about this being plastic and it's not very eco-friendly, so... I'm not really sure if they're going to do away with this binder sheet completely or if they're going to make it out of a recycled material or perhaps a material that you can recycle. I really don't know, but they did say that with the slight price increase, uh, you're going to get a more variety of things, I suppose. They talked, to, for example, about washi tape actually coming in here now, so that's very exciting. But I will show you very quickly that the theme for this month is Forces of Nature. You get these little stickers that you can put um, like kind of right here on the corner of the binder sheet that they give you. So you can find it really easily in your binder. And again, I don't know if that will go away or what changes they're going to make to that, but we'll have to find out. So the stamp for this month is like a little flaming heart. I actually really like this stamp. Let me see if I can open this real quick and get it out. This is stuck on there really good. Hold on. All right. Yeah. There we go. These stamps are always good quality. They're rubber stamps, and of course they're not on, you know, the wooden handle. They're just on plastic, but they are actually really good quality stamps. They're made very well. I still need to get an ink pad to, uh, to show you. You can see that it's rubber there. What these look like stamped onto something. I have been forgetting to get an ink pad for that. So there's that. I'm going to slide it back in here. I do like this stamp. I feel like this is one that I could use a lot, especially in like some of the Deborah Muller coloring books because she likes to do kind of like flaming hearts on stuff. So I feel like this one would be really good for that. And I'm going to slide it back in this pocket. And we've got a notepad this month that's really, really cute. Let's see if we can get this one open as well. Okay, the name of the artist is on the back here too. Owly Jewels. Owly Jewels. I'll show you the name of it. Because it tells us that's the artist's Instagram. You can see right there, Owly Jewels. This is really cute. Yeah, it's just a little notepad with a couple of pages here. You get enough pages, I feel like. There's quite a few here you could use to write memos or take notes for something. These are just, they're not like a post-it note. They're not sticky. Right, yeah, they're not sticky. They're just like regular notes. But these are really cute. I really like this design. There's a little girl here with like a butterfly or moth wings. And I think that this is going to be one of the designs on the stickers. Because this was like, the spoiler for this month was like, these girls. And then it's got like a cloud theme I really like these. I like the gold outline on that too. So that's really cute. And then we will pull out all of these stickers and start taking a look at those. You always get a lot of sticker packs. All right. So the first one here, wow, this one is really, really pretty. Okay. This is by Water Lemoon. They go by Water Moon on Instagram. These are witches. These are different witches, kind of themed around different things. Different elements, I suppose. Like, this is dark. That's air. Sun, maybe like earth down there. Kind of a fire, and then water. That's what it looks like. These are really, really pretty. So you get this 
page has six big, very big stickers on it. And these also have a very nice feel to them. They've kind of got like this really nice matte finish that feels like the cover of those matte coloring books. You know what I'm talking about? How it has that really nice, smooth, buttery kind of feeling? That's what these feel like. These feel really, really nice. And there's the artist down there. That's their watermark, Water Moon. And they go by Water Limb Moon on Instagram. I like that they include the Instagram of the artist so that you can easily find them and look them up if you like their artwork. And they might have, you know, more artwork for sale somewhere, maybe prints of their art. The back of this is a very different, it's not paper stickers. It's on a very slick type of plastic. These are more of like a plastic sticker, I believe. And they've, like I said, they've got that really nice matte feeling. So I really like this one. Something else about this company is that almost all of these artists are women. They like to support women in the industry and showcase them and spotlight their art. So that is something else I really like that I think is super cool. Okay, this one is really cute. This has more of a cute theme. This is Food by Savin Art at SavinArt.com, but it's all themed around the elements. So we've got like fire here, like a fire popsicle, a little fire tart, these little fiery chips, which are super cute. We've got water too. We've got like a water popsicle, one of those little mm, like water drop Japanese cakes that are kind of made out of jelly. Some little cake rolls here, a cute popsicle down here. And then they've got also an earth theme. We've got the donut here and the cake here. This looks like it's a drink and then another popsicle. And then we've got some other stickers in here, just like these little details, like the clouds and these little sparkly stars and some water drops and some plants. Those are all, everything on here is a sticker, except for this little star down here, which seems to be part of the artist's logo. Everything on this page is a sticker. And these are just kind of paper stickers, the regular feeling like a normal sticker, like what you're used to, you know what I mean? They don't feel like the nice matte ones, like the one that I just showed you. These are really cute, though. All right, I'm going to actually use the back of this to show you these. Okay, that artist, Savin Art, as that's how I think I would pronounce that, Savin Art, is the one who made the little, like, post-it note stickers for this month. That's what I call them. These are meant to put in, like, your journal or your planner, and you can write something on here. These feel like paper, they feel like a sticky note does, except they're stickers, so once you put it down, it's not going to remove the same way a sticky note would. But it features some of the designs from the sheet that I just showed you, and these are really cute. I like this flame one here a lot. Same with the, like, plant juice. I think it's a juice, because they're all food themed, so I think this has to be, like, juice. These are really cute, but I do like the bubbles as well for your text to go into. This is super cute, yeah. Those are really good. You've got another set of clear here. And these are incredible. These are all girls. And they're kind of in, like, a garden. This is by Parakid. And it links to their Instagram down there. These are really great. I love these. So we've got lemons here. She looks like she's in tomato garden. This girl's just under a tree. These have a very, like, anime style to them, and I like that. This girl looks like she's in a peach garden. This girl's in the vineyard. These are just some flowers and some strawberries here. I love this girl here in the pumpkin patch with the bubble gum. And then these are maybe pomegranates or plums or something. They're, they're very dark purple fruit. These are really nice. These have that same buttery matte feel to them that the first witch stickers that I showed you have. I really like this set. That's really nice. Okay, and we get a second set from this artist, even more from Parakid. So we've got just the grapes here. This girl is in like a lemon orchard. This one's really pretty. I like the blue on this. This girl, she seems to be in like a wheat field or maybe it's lavender. The girl in the sunflowers, she's really cute. This girl here in the strawberry field, she's picking a big strawberry. We have the peaches, we have the tomatoes. I love this girl here. She's just kind of in like the jungle, a lot of tropical plants. And then this girl here who's in like some tulips, she's just in some flowers. These, again, they have that same buttery matte feel. They feel very nice. I really love these. This artist's work is really, really nice. This is incredible. These are really nice. 
All right, so then these aren't clear backed here. I can show you these easily. Here's that from the little notepad. This is the artist Owly Jewels once again, and these are either like moth or butterfly girls. These are really cute. These are paper stickers. They feel paper, and they are, they've got like a bit of kind of a glitter effect to them. Like it, it's metallic and shiny, the gold is. Can you see that? I know you can see it on the hat right there, but they all have that on them somewhere. Let's see if I can get it to show. Oh, I'm struggling to like tilt them into the right light here. Well, you can see it on this guy's helmet here for sure, but they all have that kind of metallic gold on them. For example, here it's on the girl's wings around this here. Same with her. She's got it on her wings and like her helmet. These are really cute. I like these a lot. And everything on here is a sticker, even these clouds and like little bird details. Those are all stickers that you could put on something. And ooh, these are really nice too. These are also paper stickers. These are by Mikochi, Mikochi, Jenny Mikochi on Instagram. Right there is her name. These are also the elements. These are really nice. These are people as the elements. She's obviously water, and I believe, actually, I think all three of these are water. You know what? Actually, now that I'm looking at them, they're all, they're all water. They're all water people. That's nice. So we had the other one, was, you could think of this one as being air, and then these are water. That's really nice. And these are just beautiful. These look kind of like they were done even in watercolor. Like, that's how the artist drew these. I really like this girl down here in the water at sunset. That's really pretty. And you even get a guy here. These are really beautiful. I love these uh, jellyfish, too. The jellyfish stickers, yeah. These are beautiful. And our other one here is clear, so I'm going to show it to you on the back of this. These are all of the... What, are, what is this? Um, the astrology, yeah. Your, like, Libra and Aquarius and Scorpio, if you know what your sign is. These are all the signs, and they're on, like, gemstones. Oh, and actually, there's some um, constellations on some of these, too. I don't know if you can tell that these are also metallic, like where the sign and constellation are. It's done in a metallic gold on these rocks. I don't know if you can tell that. I don't know if it's showing up very well, but that's very nice. I like that. I like that that is kind of gilded. It looks really cool. And these also look very realistic for the rocks. They are not paper. They're, they're like a plasticky feeling, but I do like these a lot. These are really cool. Yeah, it looks like it's got all of the signs. There's mine. I'm Libra. I do not know what these gemstones are. I'm not good with rocks, but there's like, that one's a constellation there. That's a constellation up there. That's Scorpio, I think, because that would be Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer. Aries is the ram, right? Let's see. And I actually think that these constellations are some of the constellations related to some of these signs, actually. Yeah, I think they are. This one's really neat. I like this page. You could do, if you have one of the astrology coloring books, you could put these stickers down in the corner on, like, if you did a Libra girl, you could put that on there. You know, and if you did, like, the Scorpio, you could kind of make it in the same colors. That's really cool. All right, so... These are all of our stickers for this month, July, for the elements of nature, sorry, forces of nature theme. You got seven stickers, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight this time, which is a lot. That's really nice. I really like all of these. These are really cute. And then you get your notepad, and you get the Flaming Heart stamp, which I also think is really, really cute. So that is July's theme, Forces of Nature for the Pop Pack. Thank you guys so much for watching.